How's it going everybody? Welcome to GHMV Reacts. Today I am reacting to a confrontation between Carly and Robin. This was from I think 2005 I believe or 2006 and I thought it would be a good week to do it because Laura Wright just passed her 15th anniversary with the show and this was mentioned in the comments as a suggestion. So let's watch together. Recovering from brain surgery, and you want him to bring a motorcycle to a kid's party? You're yeah, this was shortly after Robin Robin. came back. I don't care if you don't want to hear it. Someone needs to save Jason from your selfishness. Do not ask him to bring a motorcycle to the party. He loves Michael. He will push himself to do it, and it's too soon. Jason's not your business. You're not his precious little angel anymore, so why don't you go back into obscurity and leave us all in peace, okay? I can't believe you are still using Jason, still taking advantage of him. And I can't believe that you are still so jealous of me you can't even see straight. You can't stand the fact that Jason loves me, and you could never affect that. Even when you pulled out the big gun and you told everyone the truth about Michael. AJ is Michael's father. He deserves to know that. How thick are you? You still don't get the hell you unleashed, do you? Everyone suffered, Robin. Jason, Michael, including AJ. All because you took it upon your sanctimonious self to tell a truth that wasn't yours to tell. And you know what? You did it because you were jealous. Yeah, you were jealous. Because you were afraid that you I could get Jason's family that you knew I could. All because you were HIV positive. Oh, I think this is when he found out she was HIV positive as well. You might fool the rest of the world, inspire pity and admiration for your courageous struggle. I know you for the snake that you are. And I know you for the hateful person that you are. No wonder Sonny won't take you back. You know nothing about me and Sonny, okay? Thank God you were on the other side of the world. Oh, please. It's not hard to figure out. Sonny got fed up with your insanity. So if you <laughs> think that this new, improved version of Carly that you're trying to sell is going to fly, you are in for a rude awakening. What's it like up there? Hmm? On that lofty moral perch where you look down your nose and pass judgment on the rest of us, huh? You would have thought somewhere along the line, after everything you've been through, you could pick up some empathy and compassion. Humility, maybe? You have the nerve to spout words in me like empathy and compassion, which you've never shown to anyone. Oh, I'm sorry, unless it's due to your own agenda. How Jason could have spent more than five minutes in your miserable company well, is beyond me. Well, he did, he did, okay? No matter how much you hate it. Get out. Go. Take your miserable butt back to Paris, please. <laughs> Raymond, you're finished in this town. Guess what? Your miracle drug didn't work, and you know what? You probably knew that it wouldn't. You played on Jason because he was vulnerable. Yeah. You thought, hey, if he feels obligated to me, I can slither oh, as my way back into up. his life. You have nothing else to offer him. Certainly not the sex he was used to have. No, it's enough. not enough. It is just starting. Come on, Robin. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Come on. Get out of here. Get the hell out before oh. I call security or I'll throw you out myself. Look, I, I miss when Carly was a mess. No, I don't want your apology. You want to be sorry for something? You're going to be sorry for ruining my little boy's life just to get back at me. I can't deal with you or who I become when I'm around. Goodbye! <laughs> do yourself a favor. Do not fall for the wounded little girl act, okay? Robin Scorpio is not worth your time or energy. Why? Because she's HIV positive? No, because she's a bitch. <laughs> I think it takes one to know one. Ooh. I have to admit, I'm a little shocked by the way you talked to Robin, considering she is HIV positive. Okay, what? So you think I should have handled her with kid gloves? I'm sorry. I don't do politically correct. I call him as I see him. I have compassion for her. Okay, I, I do. Robin's situation is tragic. But that doesn't give her right to pass moral judgment on other people, and she always does that. And if your life gets blown up in the process, she doesn't care. Okay, well, maybe Robin's overcompensating. Maybe she feels judged for having HIV. 
Maybe she's trying to maintain control over anything she can. I would think you could understand. You seem to know what it's like to have something to prove. <laughs> oh man, I miss Carly's fire so much. I mean, I know it's character growth, but she was just so much more entertaining. But I love Laura Wright. I actually really do love Laura Wright. And I've, I have watched for longer than she's been Carly. And I was pretty okay with her stepping into the role. I think she did a really great, a really great job. And then, I mean, y'all remember Carly number three, right? We don't really talk about her, but like, <laughs> oh, what a step up. Uh, I was so happy when Laura Wright came into the role. All right, guys, so like I said, I am reacting to confrontational moments slash dragging moments all month long. So make sure you leave some suggestions in the comments below and let me know what you want me to watch next. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Let me hold it down. Let me hold it down. Let me be your ground. Let me